Howdy folks. This story's come up on the BBC um, regarding Damien Lewis. He's the actor who was in Homeland recently and he was also in Band of Brothers when that was a thing. Um, so he's quite kind of, you know, well awarded actor, done went well for himself. And the headline is Actor Too Privileged for School Event. And um, what it is, he actually went to a local comprehensive school, um, Ackland Burghley School in North London. And uh, he's, he had been invited to um, actually flip the switch on a laser display that they were doing to celebrate the 50th anniversary celebrations. Um, alumni from Ackland Burghley School in North London had signed a petition against the Homeland Star's appearance. The actor lives near the Camden School. The petition said Damien Lewis was educated at Eton, a school that, more than any other, represents the reproduction of privilege and inequality in the UK. Lewis told the audience of about 450, there is more creativity, independence and support in this neighbourhood than any other I have lived in. He praised the school for teaching such qualities, calling it a beacon of curiosity, independence, creativity and diversity. The woman who began the petition, which garnered 100 signatures, said she had not meant it as a personal attack against Lewis. It's really just about how do you celebrate the anniversary of a really good comprehensive school that has always taken a very radical and socially progressive attitude towards education, Rachel Cohen said. On the petition, the City University Sociology lecturer had written that the Wolf Hall actor was a wholly inappropriate choice for a celebration at a comprehensive school because he went to the school and has gone on and has done really well for himself. So obviously that's completely inappropriate for a celebration of how well the how good the school is. Many of those who were there cheered his appearance, calling Lewis an inspiration, and rightly so, because he went to the school, he went on, and he did great things with his life. You know, and he's brought pleasure to millions of people because of his role as an actor. Head teacher Nicholas John said it was great he was an actor who wanted to be involved in the community. The event featured a laser show which Lewis began the countdown for. Other alumnus from the school include singer Ms. Dynamite and Madness saxophonist Lee Thompson. And then it's got a profile of Damien Lewis and the stuff that he's done and uh, the fact that he actually graduated from the Guildhall School of Music and Drama. You know, he went to Eton College where he got his A-levels, I guess, and then he went on to graduate from uh, a School of Music and Drama. But the story as a whole just indicates to me just the pettiness and the maliciousness of these people they, they just basically arbitrarily decided that he is too privileged and therefore he needs to be excluded from this stuff we can no longer celebrate what he's done and what he's achieved and you know how good an actor he is and um, how Ackland Burghley School was a great launch pad for him to go on and do greater things and you know go to a admittedly uh, prestigious um, uh, boarding school like Eton. We can't do that anymore. No, we've got to exclude him and we've got to point at him and say you're privileged. You don't actually deserve what you've got and what you've worked for because you're privileged. Um, and uh, you know, it's, it's not a personal attack against Lewis. We're just saying that because of who he is and uh, his background and his life, we don't want him to represent us as a school. We don't want him to show up. But it, you know, it's not a personal attack. These people are just completely so up their own arses they just cannot see the complete failure in the logic that they have. I mean, these people are the more ex most exclusive people, as in they want to exclude people. If ever anybody doesn't um, fit in their comfortable narrative of who, what they think should be happening, they're the first always to try and exclude them, to ban them, to have them prosecuted, to have them ostracised. Um, and I'm not surprised in the least that see, she's a sociolo sociology lecturer who has taken the time to do this. I, I took a look at the petition as well, um, celebrate, titled Celebrate Ackland Burghley's 50th Anniversary Without Ex-Eaton Boy Damien Lewis by Rachel Cohen. It got 115 supporters which you know gives me a little bit of hope that perhaps there's some sanity that she could only get 115 other people who wanted to um, try and persecute this guy because that's what they're doing I mean anybody else you know if you try and persecute them based on their background you know you'd be 
rightly called a freaking bigot. She does it to him, and all of a sudden it's progressive. Well, no, I'm sorry, you don't get to decide your own version of events. If you're going to be, if you're going to be trying to exclude people because of which school they went to, I don't care whether it's because it's a prestigious school or because it's a dive of a school um, that's never done anything. It's still just as bad. You can't have different standards depending on whether or not it's your point of view that's being supported. Absolutely insane, these people. The petition goes on about this petition. We are former students of Ackland Burghley. You see, she's a former student who's done pretty much fuck all with her life because she's a sociology lecturer and, you know, not a Hollywood actor who's won Emmys and Golden Globes for the roles that he's had and has worked with Spielberg, etc., etc. She's achieved nothing compared to him. Um, it's quite telling that they don't want to invite her back as an alumni. We are writing to protest the choice to invite Damien Lewis to celebrate 50 years of Ackland Burghley School. Ackland Burghley has a long and proud tradition in comprehensive education, creatively working with and supporting diverse local students. Unless you mean diverse as in somebody who's gone on to what you consider to be a school that's too posh, that's what you're saying? not very diverse trying to ban people. Damien Lewis was educated at Eton. Look at the, I'm going to put this, I have this up here, look at this. Damien Lewis, comma, was educated at Eton, a school that, comma, more than any other, comma, represents the reproduction of privilege and inequality in the UK. After intensive investigation, comma, of the markings on the alien pod, comma, it has become clear, comma, to me, comma, that we are dealing, comma, with a species of awesome intellect, colon. Good. Perhaps I might be able to give you a hand with your punctuation. <laughs> Shut up! My head is hurting just trying to get through that. You would think that somebody who, you know, has pride in education would be able to use basic grammar. We have nothing against him as an actor or local resident. I'm sure that means a lot to hear for him to hear you say that. But it is a wholly inappropriate choice for this celebration of a wonderful local comprehensive school. We call on the current head and governors of Ackland Burghley to change this decision. There are some brilliant graduates of our school, Eddie Grant, Ms. Dynamite, Akala or Lee Thompson, for instance. We encourage you to invite these or others whose associations with the school are long-standing and commitment to comprehensive education evidence. Okay, that does actually make sense when you get it through, when you, when you actually process it. Um, comments on from those who have signed this petition. Karen Beadle, I think he's missing the point. This is in relation to what he said, which is when he rightly said that she's missing the point. Surely there must be someone state educated in Camden that has made a name for themselves that is able to turn up for this. How about Suggs? Well, how about you take whether or not someone is state educated out of the equation and look on it on who is the highest profile and who is going to do what is best for the school in terms of a high profile appearance to open an event. Damn straight, plenty of wonderful alumni to choose from instead. Yeah, there probably are. And he is one of those wonderful alumni who has probably got the highest profile because he has done best for himself, which is what it's supposed to be about when you're inviting back successful alumni. LOL at quantitative sociology. Bit of an oxymoron, if you ask me. Why are none of these petitions ever started by smart people? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think he's against the petition and has just signed it so that he can leave a snarky comment. Um, but I mean, I, I'd ask the <laughs> if they were smart people, they wouldn't start a petition like this in the first place. I agree with the wording of the petition, which to me is a completely understandable argumentation. <laughs> you might agree with it, but I would argue the point as to whether it's understandable or not. Step outside, posh boy. I feel the headmaster's decision was wrong and insensitive. I am disappointed that people such as Ms. Dynamite were not asked. It reinforces the attitude that being white, male and middle class still gets privileges even when they have no connection to a particular environment. 
If that's the message the headmaster wants to be known for, then so be it. I have nothing against Damien Lewis. This was not his doing. This should, there should be a review of the present governors. Listen, name not displayed, United Kingdom, you clearly have something against Damien Lewis because he is too white, he is too male, and he is too middle class, apparently, and therefore he gets privileges. You clearly have something against Damien Lewis. Stop trying to hide behind it. You don't like the guy because of his background, because you're a prejudiced bigot. And it doesn't make it all right because, you know, you think that you're on the right side of the argument because you're not. Fucking hell. The reason we selected Ackland Burghley for our two children was partly because of its ethos of comprehensive education for all. Damien Lewis doesn't represent this ethos. He's being chosen as a celebrity. And the other people who are on the list of people who should have been chosen instead, Ms. Dynamite, probably not her birth name, one would think. Suggs from Madness. I... So because he's famous and celebrated for what he does, he's somehow not... A you can you know, dress it up as you like. You don't want him to do it because of his background, which you disagree with, and because it irks you. Wholly inappropriate for Eton alumnus to be the guest for celebrating a comprehensive school. Says who? Says you? you these people, they always harp on about social mobility. They're obsessed with social mobility. You know, people at the, at the top schools and universities, and apparently, according to them, never come from... Uh, poorer backgrounds or more middle class backgrounds, right? Here's an example of somebody who has gone on and has gone to Eton, has been accepted through, I don't, they don't just accept anybody, it's expensive but there's also tests that you have to go through to get in there. He's got in there, he's gone on, he's done great things with his life and you're bitching about him. Jealousy is the only thing I can think of. The politics of envy is what it's about. If If I'm not doing well then no one can do well person who started this petition, if I'm a sociology lecturer um, in some backwater school then and I haven't gone on to do great things with my life, then no one should be allowed to do that. Represent the school with someone who actually knows what the school has to offer and what difference it has made to former students. Because Damien Lewis can't know any of those things apparently, because he went to Eton. When you go to Eton, um, they actually change you from a normal human being who's worthy of respect, you know, um, to a mindless zombie who is now one of the enemy, who's the upper class. This it blows my mind. It just blows my mind. Nice one, Harriet et al. for raising this. Let's get this change. Spread the word. Sorry, Rob, you failed. You failed. He's already done it. And he's rightly said that you're completely missing the point. What about Derek Griffiths? Sorry, Lauren. Too late. He's already appeared at it. There are so many ex burgley pupils. How are still in the area that would be proud to represent? Is the reason that the governors do not know how to find or know who they are? You only need to ask the pupils, as there are many who are children of them. For example, Ben Aranovich or Jake Narva. Now, sorry, I'm drawing a blank there. Um, I would imagine Damien Lewis has done a lot better than those people. Um, he's got, you know, a higher profile. He's more successful in his field. And that's why he's been chosen. I like Damien Lewis as an actor, but feel strongly that there are other, more appropriate people to choose to inaugurate the 50-year anniversary celebrations of my old school, Ackland Burghley. Damien Lewis was educated, educated at Eton, and an exclusive private prep school. By contrast, Ackland Burghley is celebrating 50 years as a vibrant, inner-city comprehensive school with a very diverse student population, and celebrating values that are to do with being inclusive and valuing of diversity. We have Ms. Dynamite, Akala, Eddie Grant, and Lee Thompson as alumni at the school, as well as many, many others who have gone on to great things, whether in the public eye or not. Let's celebrate that. So, if what you're saying, if these other people have gone on to do great things anyway, but they didn't go to Eton. If they didn't go to Eton, but they've gone on to do great things, then probably going to Eton itself doesn't have that much of a say. But, no, let's not think about logic. All of these people are just clowns, and I 
salute Damien Lewis for going ahead with it and for saying they'd missed the point um, to be honest it would have been funny if he'd made more of a, a joke about it and really mocked these clowns um, because it, it literally is you went to eat them therefore we hate you I mean this is like it's totally pathetic is what it is um, these are the people she's a sociology lecturer this is a sociology lecturer she's supposed to be like one of the leading people in her field apparently if she's going on to lecture it just blows your mind blows your mind hopefully more and more people will start telling these losers just no one wants to listen to you take your hate and your bigotry and just go away just fuck off this is my fervent hope we'll, we'll see but well done to Damien Lewis um, good for you for turning up at a school that is still local to you and helping them celebrate their 50th anniversary good for you for not listening to these idiots who try to shame you even though it's not a personal attack which clearly is a personal attack blows my mind Anyway, it's just my thoughts on the story. Catch you guys later. Cheers.